Computer and Communication Engineering. The potent blend of electronics with communication has transcended as the linchpin of the digital world. From mobile phones and computers to televisions and ultra-modern satellites, electronics and communication engineering has eclipsed into an essential discipline in all industries. As an all-inclusive domain, this field has penetrated novel areas like IoT, robotics, mechatronics, instrumentation, healthcare, automation, etc. India is deploying local capabilities and revolutionary technology to influence innovative and novel business models and present Indian citizens access to digital and financial inclusion. This act aids in fashioning global discussion about the employment of technology in augmenting economic opportunity and final outcomes for citizens. The previous two decades have testified to India leaving an indelible mark globally in technology. The Param Siddhi AI supercomputer, manufactured in India, was ranked 63rd among the world's 500 most powerful computers. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course, know your career. In this video, let's lend our ears to the details of this developing course. Bachelor of Technology in Computer and Communication Engineering is the right blend of computer science and electrical engineering, giving expertise in computer science software development and electronics communication by focusing on mobile communication and computing. It covers subjects in computer science, communication networks, cloud computing, and big data analytics. All companies with operations in legal, accounting, architecture, engineering, scientific and technical consulting services are all included in this computer and communication sector. Computer engineers can look for multiple opportunities in public sector units or work in DRDO, ISRO, BARC, etc. Computer engineers have graduated with an in-depth knowledge to work in central offices, electronic service centers and transport providers. They can forecast the impact of new developments, write reports for planning authorities, and analyze and interpret the data gathered from transport studies. From a bird's eye view, this course has a promising future. Bolstering their significance, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, or BLS, predicts a 5% increase in demand for computer network architects through 2029. Undoubtedly, the computer systems design industry is the workforce's largest employer at 32.3%, followed by telecommunications and managed service providers. Out of the 16,981 seats, 15,703 were filled with just 1,278 seats remaining vacant in computer science engineering, the popular choice this year. Electronics and communication engineering was the second most opted course with 10,298 seats filled out of the 13,657. Yes, the future is fascinating here, and to be a part of this future, it is imperative that you get into a top-notch institution, like the Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, SRM University, Amaravati, Birla Institute of Technology and Science, Pilani, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, Amity University, Noida, Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, Lovely Professional University, Pagwara, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Computer Science Engineering continues to be the outstanding choice for engineering students this year as well, with 92.47% of seats filled after the final phase of admissions. The eligibility criteria is simple, with 60% aggregate marks in class 12, with English, Chemistry and Maths, or Biology, or Biotechnology, or an equivalent qualification. This is followed by an authorized entrance exam like JEE, VIT Triple E, BITSAT, and Counseling. A computer and communication engineering course has a fee structure that varies from Rs. 2,50,000 to Rs. 10 lakhs for the entire course depending on the institute of your choice. India is also working hard to ensure that its information and computing capabilities meet the requirements of its citizens. The Information Technology Facilitation Program, TIF, and the Technology Promotion Development and Utility, TPDU, are programs initiated by the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. The primary objective of these programs are to magnify the utilization of digital information resources and to present information for scientific and technological research and industrial development, promoting optimal use of the country's potential. 
Therefore, to ensure the effective utilization of resources, a computer engineer must be adept in his field. The skills required include a good understanding of networks, technical knowledge and ability, adaptability and the ability to learn new skills, organizational skills, analytical and problem-solving skills, the ability to work in a team, and finally, people management skills. A recent collective survey conducted by ASSOCHAM and NEC Corp suggests that India's electronics market is presumed to reach $400 billion by the year 2020 at a 41% CAGR rate. Apart from the tech industry, the manufacturing sector, multinational corporations, research-based companies, the armed forces, and many other domains are persistently looking for proficient ECE engineers, thereby engendering a surge in demand for professionals. This demand calls for attractive salary packages based on experience and skill. 3.76 lakhs is the average salary for a fresher. 7.21 lakhs is the average salary for a communications engineer at the mid-level. 10.54 lakhs is the salary for an experienced communications engineer. With the ever-expanding nexus between the electronics industry and digital technology, employment in the ECE sector has escalated in the last few years. The application of electronics and communication engineering in technologically directed industries is anticipated to fashion some of the most coveted career options. Now let's take a deep dive into the thrilling responsibilities of a computer engineer. Managing the performance of communication engineers and planners. Agreeing to project budgets, timescales and specifications with clients and managers. Undertaking site surveys. Producing testing and implementing designs creating test procedures, producing disaster management plans, ensuring that objectives and deadlines are met, attending conferences and briefings on new products and networks, writing reports and documentation, making presentations, managing resources, liaising with suppliers, customers, directors and other teams of staff, undertaking relevant research, analyzing and interpreting data, providing technical support and organizing and attending meetings. Samsung has made seven offers at IIT Bombay, six at IIT Kanpur, and five at IIT Delhi, according to the placement cells at these institutes. Each of these offers is valued at a whopping $150,000, which is equivalent to 1.1 crore rupees, and procured by students in computer science and electronic engineering branches. This demand will be met by industry giants like Intel, BEL, Accenture, Wipro, HCL Technologies, Samsung, Tech Mahindra, Infosys, TCS, BSNL, the Indian Air Force, the Indian Navy, Philips, and DMRC. So what is the course that you want to pursue next? Let us know in the comment section below. If you agree with our analysis,